They're up against Adcock and White. Then Rajal and Suzanto against Hashimoto and Maeda. Another mixed doubles, uh, the number one seeds, Shi Chen and Ma Jin up against Danish opposition, Kolding and Rote Yul. Then mixed doubles with Kim and Jung up against the Malaysian number five seeds, Chan and Go. And as you could just see, we were then back to women's singles with the two-time Asian champion, Jiang Yang Zhao. Another mixed doubles will follow that, then men's doubles, and we'll finish off with our last women's singles, Adrianta Ferdesari up against the left-handed European junior champion, Carolina Marin. So the first of our women's singles, as I say, three women's singles today, all featuring a left-hander, and our first left-hander is Sayaka Takahashi of Japan up against the Malaysian T. Jing E. So uh, this from the top half of the draw in the lower quarter and you can see that some players, the seeded players, have had a bye to the second round. So this is a first round encounter and for the right uh, to play a Bay Yun Ju, the number 13 seed, I do beg your pardon, it's for the right to play Minatsu Mitani, the number 8 seed from Japan. So potentially we could have a Japanese in the second round encounter. So there the young Malaysian, 22 years of age, born in Penang. And Sayaka Takahashi. Takahashi turned 21 a week ago yesterday. Blue. Well, the umpire for this match, Second. Eddie Wilson. Rufianto, from Indonesia. The toss of the coin has been completed and the players have decided that they wish to start the opposite ends from where they walked out onto court. So for both these players, this is their first ever World Championships. So for Sayaka Takahashi, well, she had a great year last year, I can tell you. Had an incredible start to 2012, reached the final for the first five tournaments, winning three of them. This year, she's had success as well, won the Australian Grand Prix, and that's reflected in her win-loss record for the year. Up to 23 in the world rankings, she has actually, in April earlier this year, reached the dizzy heights of the top 20. She was number 18 in the world ranking. So to the 22-year-old from Penang, she has been as high as 40, down a couple of places since that career high. And her win-loss record translates into one quarter-final. That was her home event, the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold. Lost in a couple of qualifying matches of Super Series events. So this is a tall order as we look at her coaches, Rashid Sadek, on the right and on the left. Well, she may be lower in the world rankings as we look at the yeah, fact that they played each other once previously. That was in the qualifying of the Thailand Grand Prix goal two years ago. I'm not sure how much we can read into that because since then both players have improved dramatically, especially Sayaka Takahashi. And of course Takahashi really shot the limelight within the quarter-final of the German Grand Prix in March earlier this year. She beat the Olympic champion, Lin Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sayaka Takahashi, Japan. And on my left, Jing Yiti, Malaysia. Jing Yiti to serve, love all, play. So teaching E from Malaysia. Getting his first round women's singles match underway. Ah! Oh, it's a good opening rally too. 
So we saw her. I have to one say that I think Sayaka Takehashi is one of a whole group of young Japanese players that has huge potential. I was telling you a little bit about her good start to last year, 2012. She only played eight tournaments last year and reached six finals, winning four of them. Well, that's the sort of potential that she's got. Two, one. Solo to all. Mm, that's landed well in. Uh, we were talking yesterday about so the drift in this arena. Three, two. And yesterday we thought the shuffle was flying faster, coming towards us. In other words, coming towards Takahashi. I have to say, from the way that shuttle died. I have my doubts whether the drift is, at the moment, the same as it was yesterday. So it's over, three, off. Of course, she's got a sister that plays, Ayaka. Women's doubles with Mizuki Matsutomo. And in fact, one the number three seeds here at this World Championship. So, both siblings doing very well in international badminton. Four, three. Delightful drop shot, goodness me. Playing with what we call Five, the round the head shots tend to be more off balance with that movement, and therefore you have to have excellent racket head control. As your body is moving backwards, you've got to put the racket head going through forward with the shuttle. Technically, very difficult, and she played it quite beautifully. Mm, not so on the forehand side. So we saw that four, five. Of course, first match for these two players in this year's World Championships. It'll take a little bit of time getting used to the venue, used to the conditions. Ah! Mm, she seems to have suffered pretty so well, so though, doesn't she? Six, four. Now, I've watched her play before, and I've really enjoyed the way that she's a, an attacking player, she's an adventurous player, the left-hander. And while she may not be so as consistent as the top players five, in the world six. at the moment, I think that consistency will come. What's more difficult is trying to teach a player new skills and try and teach them to be more adventurous later on in their careers. They get set in their ways, so to me, one of the reasons why she, I regard her having so much potential. Ah! Probably helps being a left-hander as well. So we saw her. Seven, five. Just long. So we saw eight six. Ah. Always 
Oh, good. That's a lovely shot from Tijing Yi. Singles is very eight. much about trying to outmaneuver your opponent. Move them to all four corners of the court. Wait until they're out of position. That's when you start going for your winners. You've got to work the rally first. Takahashi bringing Tijing Yi forward to the net, seven. then playing her deep into the forehand, deep into the backhand, then deep into the forehand again. Oh, classic singles tactics. There's some of our tournament referees and BWF assessors watching the umpires, making sure they're all doing their job seven. as they should be. Eight, nine. momentarily box. forgot that her opponent was a left-hander. The last attempted lift was right into her hitting zone. So a three-point advantage to Sayaka Takahashi of Japan. Court one, 20 seconds. Okay, come on. Umpire Rufianto. Making sure that the housekeeping is in order. Towels and possessions must be inside the kit bag. Expected it to do. <laughs> Just why good judgment. So we saw that nine twelve. Well, that's very interesting. Malaysia wanted to change the shuttle. Japanese player said no. Umpire agreed with the Malaysian. Well, obviously, if the player is serving, they must have won the last so rally and therefore sorted. psychologically Nine. probably approved of the shuttle, so they probably wouldn't ask to change it unless it really was a goner distorted or feathers ruffled or something wrong with the oh that's gonna go wide yep good net play so the solar 10 13 Mm, very good judgment. Good cool line judge too. Yes, 
a nice angle. 12, 13. Plenty of time. The jump before the cross court slice. Yeah. That's where women's singles really is developing, following the men's singles trend. Very athletic play now from all the women's singles oh. players. And teaching E has done well. Back on level terms. There have been four points adrift at one stage. Into the lead. Six of the last seven points have gone in favour of the Malaysian. Oh, that's good. Oh, my goodness. Well, I said that you work the rally to get your opponent out of position. She did precisely that with that little hold and flick. Huge opportunity and then smashed into the net. Oh, this is extraordinary. 16, 17. Eight of the last nine points. Oh, I don't know what the coach has said to her, but whatever they said, it's worked wonders. Yeah. That's a nice structure. Thomas Soma, 14, 16. Must be careful hitting up towards her opponent's forehand side. That's another jump smash. And once again, we're back level. Often in singles, we see the attacking 17, shots 16. down the sidelines, trying to draw your opponent out of position, and just occasionally using the body smash is very, very effective. We see that a lot in doubles. We're seeing it more and more in singles now. But normal shot is that sort of winning shot, creating the angle, make your opponent move. Asking for the court to be mopped. Maybe place her hand down on the court surface as she tried to retrieve that. Yeah, thank you. Seven titles already to her name. Takahashi at the age of 21. Oh, just 21. Play. Crucial stage, obviously. Oh, that could be costly. She was in good position. She was on balance. She could have played that shot anywhere. Anywhere over and in. Seventeen. 
obvious disappointment. And quite understandable. But this is where you have to have that mental toughness. Give yourselves, yourself a margin. Don't go for the lines at these crucial stages. points for, for the left-handed Sayaka Takahashi and now three game point opportunities <laughs> well opening game 21-17 16 minutes needed and needed to come from behind from 16 17 down with a run of five straight points closes out that opening game has a chat with me which is always very nice having a chat with him and discussing how Edmonton is progressing and developing second game level play so the left hand is Sayaka Takahashi from Japan having won the first game 21 17 coming from behind. So now, psychologically, a tall order for the teaching ink. It was won eight out of nine points from 8 12 down in that opening game. And we felt we could have perhaps made more of her opportunities. One or two errors at the end of that opening game cost her dear. Mustn't let that play on her mind. That's a lovely skill, isn't it? Could really see the way the racket head was wrapping round the feathers of the shuttle. And when you strike the feathers and the cork at the same time, it creates the extra spin. And because the shuttle is spinning more, it comes down steeper because there's more wind Play. resistance. So it's over. One, two. Say overdone it, but it was called cool. good. Oh, I was a little bit surprised by that call. But 
I was talking in the opening game about how creative she is. Mm, yeah, I have my doubts even more. And that's what I like about this young left-hander. Mm, to go for those sort of shots, whether it was in or whether it was actually out, is sort of by the by. The creativity of Takahashi is very, very impressive. I think it's the creative play as well by this young lady. But I was telling you she's already beaten the Olympic champion this year, Mishwe Rei. But has also beaten this year alone, Jin Yang Jiao of China and Rachel Intanon of Thailand. Both those players either in the top four at the moment or have been in the top four in the world ranking. would have just dropped the racket head there and played the net shot. No, she was willing to put the pressure on, come from above the shuttle. That's nice. So we saw four seven. Yeah, we talk a lot in doubles about the need to be positive on defensive play, but same theory applies in singles. I wonder her coaches applaud. Look at that. Tumbling the shuttle, forcing the shorter lift. And of course, Tu Jing Yi had to come back in her base position to defend potentially a smash which left her very vulnerable to that drop shot that's clever clever play from Takahashi play. Yeah, just wide. a little look from the Malaysian towards the umpire Super defensive shot, just guiding the shuttle into the open space. And a little confused look on the face of TG. Yeah. 
顺风嘛，他肯定。Just one title that the Malaysian has won in her career. Part one, twenty second. Part one, twenty second. That was two years ago, the Vietnam International Challenge event. Painting. Play. So we saw what well, it was after the mid game interval Six, in game 11. number one, where the Malaysian really came alive. Judgment. Yeah, I think we definitely Tommy got the drift Sola, worked out. It is certainly five. flying faster coming towards us. Eight, twelve. Mm, big deep breath. Oh, relax yourself. Maybe having a little flashback to that open game. Well, that's five or six points since the mid-game interval. It is deja vu. Goodness, what a net exchange. Service over, 13, 11. Did very well to get that back, actually. Yeah, with the overhead. Oh, that's good movement from Takahashi. And that base position, turn quickly, one step and a leap to play the round, the headshot. Very impressive. Takahashi forcing the short lift and therefore the opportunity to go for the winner. Look at that shuttle. It was upside down as it crossed over the net. Well, that's the sort of talent that I get very excited about. Those racket skills. And they're just waiting for the court attendant. Get back in position. He's doubling up as a line judge. Play. Line judges from all over the world at these world championships. Umpires and service judges as international flavour, but also the line judges as well. And that's a very good thing. A nice development with badminton. Seven 
Pace that it hit the top of the net 17. and just bounced over. Mm, that's extraordinary. It was the umpire that called for the court to be mopped, not the player. Not sure I've ever seen that before. Sort of feels this is perhaps last chance saloon for TGE. And if she plays net shots like 14, that, 17. she could well get back on level terms and even force a decider. played the right shot to try smashing down on her opponent's forehand side which wasn't really on balance as she played that smash very very clever learned from the last rally smash down the line her opponent able to deal with it and deal with it with interest playing the winner off her defensive shot that time jamming her with the smash aiming towards her left hip which for a left hander is the perfect placement good thinking points away from a place in the second round. Oh, Takahashi. Oh, that is Every time the Malaysian so really makes the 16, physical effort to 19. get behind the shuttle. And she goes for these angles. And the, the big point is, is that when she's landing, her body weight is going forward again in court. She's on balance. She could have reached the reply had it have come over it's when she's off balance that she plays right. herself into trouble oh, super angle by the left hander so it's over. And with that 20, cross court match winner, point come four match point opportunities. Defensive play there from TG. She's down on her knees at one stage. Well, the court attendant will need to come on again. Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. If only she could play with that sort of intensity throughout the entirety of the match. on a second match point opportunity. Well, Takahashi goes to her coaches first, and that, I have to say, is a little disappointing. 
you cannot have a victory unless you've had an opponent and therefore you need to thank the person that has given you that opportunity to enjoy a victory first and foremost. Well, two very talented youngsters and two players we're going to see an awful lot more of in the years to come in the world of badminton. But victory to Sayaka Takahashi, 21-17, 21-17 in 35 minutes of play. to mixed doubles in the number 16 seeds uh, Chris Adcock and Gabby White from England uh, against the pair from Taipei Cheng Hun Ling and Cheng Wen Sing who of course won a bronze medal at the Asian Games in this very arena there you can see second round we're up to in the mixed uh, doubles and the two matches that we've com got coming up next this one and the one following this mixed doubles will determine who meets each other in the third round.